Welcome to the final edition of Hard Cap here at the 2012 College Championships. I'm Brian Jones here with Griffin Muckley, James Leppert, and Nick Rogers. We had lots of exciting action go on this weekend. Let's start out with trends of the tournament, guys. What did we see throughout the entire game? Nick, let's start with you. I, I saw a lot of teams uh, breaking early, getting the lead, and just not being able to follow through. It happened with Tough against Pitts, and it happened with, it, most notably in the semifinals, where Carlton took a huge lead at half and let Pitt get back in that game. It seemed like we had a lot of teams come in with trying to go out early with a lot of energy, get big leads on teams that were seated higher than them but just could not hold on. James, what did you see in this tournament? Uh, you know, going off what Nick said, comebacks. Comebacks were big. Uh, we saw, you know, first game of the day, uh, Luther, Michigan. Luther made a big comeback on Michigan, and you know, that was a really big game for Luther. Uh, kept him in the tournament. They maybe wouldn't have made three quarters uh, if they didn't win that game against Michigan. I think comebacks, you know, fitting into what Nick said, big story this time. Comebacks, there was a, a huge one, of course, with Pittsburgh coming back on Carlton, as he's mentioned. Griffin, what did you see this tournament? You know, I noticed the Colorado win really benefiting certain teams over others. Uh, we saw it in the quarterfinals with Colorado versus Luther. Luther being able to pull away probably a little more ahead than some people have thought. We also saw it in Car the quarterfinal game with Carlton versus Central Florida. Central Florida unable to complete many of their hucks. Of course, it didn't affect the finals game of Pitt in Wisconsin. Pitt still able to put a number of hucks well ahead of their cutters. Yeah, we thought that maybe that, that Wisconsin or the win would favor Wisconsin in that title game, however it did not. Looking back at the tournament, we had some exciting games. Guys, pick one game that you thought was just exciting to watch. Griffin, let's start with you. You know, I really enjoyed the quarterfinal game of Central Florida versus Carlson College. Um, it wasn't necessarily a close game. However, it was very exciting to watch the Carlton defense shutting down a lot of Central Florida's deep shots and also just working their offense mechanically. A lot of invert breaks and just a lot of really good, solid athletic play. Of course, it didn't necessarily follow through to their semifinal game against Pitt. James, what game did you particularly like? Um, besides the Luther-Michigan game, uh, you know, first game of the day, you get here, you see that comeback from Luther, especially Eric Johnson at total. First half, he wasn't playing very well. Second half, he played a ton better and continued that play for the rest of the tournament. Besides that game, uh, the quarterfinal game between Wisconsin and uh, Tufts, that was a great game. Um, I only kind of got to watch that game. I was watching Pittsburgh, Minnesota, but the last half of that game really stands out as one of the great games this weekend. We saw a lot of good games. Nick Rogers, what game did you like? Well, like uh, Jimmy said, the Luther Michigan game was really great, and uh, I want to give a, I want to recognize both uh, Spencer Jolly and Jeff Pape for making really good, solid plays on uh, offense and defense in that game to put them in position to win. But uh, I already talked about the Cal Wisco game, and that was a great game from both players, from both teams. And uh, the Cal UCF was actually a really solid game with uh, two really athletic, uh, dynamic teams, both making plays, both taking the deep shot, and yeah. I got, to, I got a chance to watch a couple of games. Colorado versus Carlton. It was a fantastic game. Back and forth, athletic plays. Colorado tucking on the strength of Jimmy Mickle and others. Then we saw Carlton really battle back. Carl, Colorado jumping out to an early 6-3 lead. This fitting in with the comeback trend that we discussed earlier. Carlton taking half. Colorado marching out to another lead right at the beginning of the second half. And then Carlton finally putting it away like we expected them to. All right, guys. Well, we had one game today to watch. Pittsburgh versus Wisconsin. What were your thoughts on that game? Let's start with you, Nick. Alex Thorne. Uh, when they threw zone, his blades just destroyed them. They could not cover it. And when they played man, he had those break hucks. And as a downfield defender, when someone throws a break hook, there's really nothing you can do. Really hard. It was impossible to stop Alex Thorne this weekend. James, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, Wisconsin could not catch the hucks today on offense. They turned the disc over a lot because of that. And they started to lie on their defense. And Unlike uh, their semifinal game against um, Oregon. Oregon, they did not come through on the defensive side of the disc as like they did against Oregon. Um, that made a difference in semifinals. It made a difference today. Griffin, I definitely think uh, Pitt's deep game was what kept them in it today and what ultimately gave them this, uh, you know, their four or five point lead at the very end. Um, Alex Thorne's Hawks looked amazing, and uh, Dijeralmo going out there and just beating every one of his defenders. Not a single Wisconsin player was able to shut him down. Uh, both both players for Pittsburgh were very impressive, but really the thing that I think 
started that comeback for Pittsburgh in the semifinals with Carlton was maintained today. Their dump defense was very impressive. Jason Kunza doesn't get enough recognition playing the majority of points, almost every single point for Pittsburgh, just shutting down all the handlers of Carlton and then Wisconsin, forcing them to take ill-advised deep shots. And we see Pittsburgh come out and win this thing. It was a great year. Pittsburgh finally coming on top. We finally have a new winner in the, champion, in the college division after years of North Central dominance with Wisconsin, Carleton, Florida, and Colorado. It's been a great year. Thanks for Nick Rogers, James Leopard, Tim Muckley, Ryan Jones, Sky Magazine.